my friends, my wishes. How are you? It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Uh, Holly, is, is, is everybody good? I, I'm I'm still listening. You can you can tell me if you're not. I understand. There are days. There are days. Um, I have several herniated discs in my neck, and uh, I live with chronic pain. And I am here to tell you that there are days when mm, perky cheerful just does not. I just can't do it. But most of the time, most of the time I'm good. So it's Monday. It's a regular scheduled Monday video that does not involve a box opening or a battle of anything. Just, just some stuff. So I'm going to go to the overhead camera and we're just going to kind of go through a, a few things. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. So first I'm going to answer a couple of questions from the comments um, from the pastry shop quilt box opening. Um, one of them was about this little, hmm, I need dark, a darker background here. Is that better? This little um, ruler. It is, oh shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had it all measured. It's two and a half by four and a half inches. So it's two and a half by four and a half. Somebody wanted to know how, what the measurements were. So it does have, um, it's got a little half inch border around the side. Love it, use it all the time. Okay, next question was about this little spoolie wooly thing. Um, it works, it works fine on the little ones, but it works really good on the big ones. Um, I generally store my thread in these or fill boxes. Um, I don't like them to get dusty and it's just, I just like it. But see, if you aren't going to store them in this kind of way, well, oh, it fits right in there. You could do it. You could do double duty there. So it just fits around it, holds the threads from becoming like out of control. So that's what that is. So get these things out of the way. Um, next up is a little project that I did. Um, I, I sort of haunt the um, fabric, uh, like Moda, Free Spirit, the companies to see if they've got any free patterns that are of interest to me. And I saw this one that uses mini charms and I thought, oh, well, that's, that's a cute bag. Um, but eh, I really, you know, don't really need that. And then I, I got this little um, mini charm thing and it's called Ghostly Greetings. And uh, I thought, oh, well, you know, my grandchildren, usually for Halloween for my grandchildren, I have done trick-or-treat bags. I've done, you know, you name it, but they're getting old, older except for the twins. Um, and they don't need like a ton of candy. And so I got the, the idea that this cute pattern from Moda, which is free, um, that I could do these little, use these little two inch charm, mini charms to make this bag. So, and I even had this can you, can you see him? Okay. This little um, zipper pull that looks like a little skull. And uh, I just, I just lined it with orange, um, oops, sorry, orange webbing. Like it looks like spider webs. And I could put some candy, you could put some money, you could put gift cards, you could put, if it's a girl, you could put makeup, you could put any kind of cute little something in there for their Halloween treat that isn't necessarily candy. And then when the p pastry shop box came and it had this one, which is pumpkins and blooms, I decided, oh, well, maybe I need another one of those. So this time I, I have a bee and I lined it in green and I remembered this time to do my my technique with my zipper where I sew the zipper on and I leave a little bit of the zipper over the edge 
and then when I go back, I fold it under and stitch right along that edge, and then you don't get any fraying, little frayed edges. So super easy. Uh, use soft and stable in both of them to give them body. You could just use batting. Um, it would they just wouldn't be as you know standy uppy. Uh, like I said, really quick, really fun. I don't know what I'm going to use this one for, but I'll think of something. So that's that. Uh, next up, I I need some help. I need some help. So we may remember that I got this pattern and it came with uh, the, shoot, what was this called? Fall Stroll? Anyway. This is the, I needed, I needed 12 of these in order to make this quilt. And I just wasn't sure about the background. Like, I, I kind of liked the blue. Somebody mentioned that it looked like the, the, they were falling out of the sky, which was awesome. And um, kind of really changed my mind on the blue. So I, I got out all of my Marsha Durr solids and I came up with two blues that I really like. So this one is actually more of a gray, but I still, I still like, is enough of a blue in it that I, I like it. And it's, and it's light enough. I, I, okay, I like it, but I think, I think I like the next one better. So this is just a tad bluer. We see that okay? So keeping in mind that this, this is what we're making. What is your vote? The, um, the, this, the slightly darker one. Or the lighter one. Please comment below, please. Please comment below. I, I I think I'm I'm leaning for this one, but I, I need suggestions. I need to be validated. Last thing, I got some stuff from the fabric patch, and the uh, my curtains that are behind me and the curtains that are over. My storage closet are Rachel Hauer, and she is um, Tula Pink's. Do I want tattoo artist? Maybe uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a connection there, and the, her new collection is Birds of a Feather, and I didn't get much of it because I, a lot of it was very, very, very large prints. But um, isn't this cute? Look at these nests nests of eggs and feathers and then I just got a companion a companion piece um, that's just kind of got more birds and eggs but the eggs are are um, real decorative and I just love these I love her she's boy she does some good stuff so that's that, Birds of a Feather by Rachel Hauer. And then this one, I think I'm going to have to just stand up and show you. This is heavier. I don't know what it's made out of. It's intended, I believe, for pillows. Can you see any of this? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to... <laughs> I think I know the name of this person, but I don't know for sure. Wecker Fritch, and it's called She Who Sews. Look at the cute, the sewing machines. So this is like the, um, this is just quilting cotton. But this is heavier. It's almost... 
I would say it's twill, but it's all these. And that, like I said, when I move back to the other camera, I will show you the whole thing, but it's all these neat, um, squares that are sewing related. that you can make pillows or you could do a neat like um wall design or or if if you were lucky enough that your sewing space had like a sofa and or a chair and you wanted to make a pillow for that that would be super cool but um i switched to the other camera and show you more of this hey so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and stand up and i'm gonna show you this uh yeah i didn't even I guess it's a, it's a panel, but it's so we've got Clara's O N T spool cotton. We've got this cute one. Then there's this one. And then there's like the end of a spool. I'm still not I'm too close on it. Pins. Chart. Okay, I gotta fold it here. Okay, she's who I showed you the other way. Again, thread. I think it's eyeglasses. No needles? I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But that's it. Um, adorable tote bag fabric. If you, especially if you, um, you know, like you went to Guild or you go to Retreat or you go somewhere and you need to take your, your sewing stuff with you. Super, super cute tote bag. I'm, I might do that. Um, I'll let you know if, if I do. Um, again, a million thank yous for all of you for voting and commenting on the Battle of the Boxes. It's, um, it just, get, it just gets better and better. I just love, I, it's, I, this is bad, but I love when you hate a box. <laughs> just, it's like, you're not afraid. You're just, what the heck were they thinking kind of thing. I, I love it. So, um, I'm starting to get to know some of you. Um, when you comment, you know, regularly, I kind of get to know your, the, uh, some of you are super polite, like me, you know, you always, it's, you always have to, I have to make the sandwich, like you say something nice, and then you say what, something not so nice, and then you end it with something nice, so that the people were, you know, you got, I, I was, um, raised to be, um, I'm not sure if that's true, if I was raised to be, I think I've just always been a little bit overly nice, but, eh, you know. Could be worse <laughs> could be worse things so anyway again with the cute little cute little bag i kind of love how it domes up like this how the zipper makes it go whoop but um uh, i will put a link for the pattern down below i will also put a link for the two um mini charms also if you're curious the blue fabrics the blues, the grays, whatever we want to call them, are Marsha Durst solids. These, I love, you see how they almost look suede? They're just love, 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 love. So that's it for today. Tomorrow there'll be another box. Uh, and um, I hope you're all good. It, it is once again an absolutely uh, spectacular October day here. We're starting to see a lot of color. Um, those of you that live in, in climates where you don't have like a super noticeable change in seasons. Do you have like trees that, I know this sounds like I'm, but I, I've never, I've never been in a climate like that. Do you have trees that change colors? Like, or do you certain, like, does nature give you a specific, yep, it's fall now. You can, you know, I'm just curious. Um, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> be well, be safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.